Uh, lessons today we're going to actually show you the cropping feature in iMovie so this feature will enable you to crop videos so as you can see by default since this is in the, the 16 by 10 aspect ratio it already cropped it so it actually it cropped to fill so actually as you can see it, it actually cropped it so that it will fill it fit it correctly without the, the removing most of the parts of the, the um, area you know, to fit in the 60 by 9 aspect ratio. You can even move this to actually, uh, you can even move this and center it in the crop to fill feature. So, um, so we're gonna go through all of the cropping settings in the iMovie. So the first one is fit. So fit, what uh, what this does is that it actually makes the, the it actually if it's a the different aspect ratio or anything else, it will just make it uh, fit into the area without cropping it. The next one is crop to fill. So crop to fill is actually a very interesting. A way to actually do do things. So I mean, see, the crop to fill is the uh, traditional crop. So as you can see, I can crop the the finer portion, and then it will just crop into the finder. So as you can see, yeah, it actually looks quite clear, even though it is much more lower res, res because it's a complete crop. But yeah, that is crop to fill. Let me put this back on fit. So uh, the next one is cambers, and I already gone through this uh, in, in the last video, and uh, and also you can even turn the the turn this around by actually pressing these buttons. As you can see, you can make it upside down. So as you can see, this is good good for tutorials that like are made on whiteboards that are on the ground. So you can actually put your camera upside down so that you can write comfortably, and use the the uh, this feature to actually switch it from upside down to. Uh, for uh, I may say for switches so right now it's upside down if you have something that's complete opposite you can switch it to actually forward so that is uh, I mean quite useful actually so you can edit the photo placement to actually uh, have different crops so it instead of the default Ken birds uh, effect on the photos uh, I will just uh, give you an example here but, uh, it, instead of the uh, default Ken birds effect on the photos actually those you can uh, have different uh, crops uh, um some crops actually to be on the photos for example um so i'm going to just uh keep it here so like okay for example um you can actually go to uh, uh the, i mean go you click on the iMovie button and then go to preferences and then you can select different effects to actually be on the uh, default so crop to fill and fit so uh, crop to fill will automatically crop different aspect ratios as usual and fit We'll just make it fit into it. I think a fit it will be better. So I'm going to just close this down and then, and uh, actually, it closes down and then uh, just drag it and drop it here. And as you can see, it fits into the position. Of position. So if it's a different aspect ratio, that's a good idea to keep on crop to fill. But I um, mean, I will just put this back to Cambridge because uh, I a little bit. I like it a little bit. So yeah, this is Kusala's lessons.